Hello, we will set up MLTK in this tutorial. MLTK stands for Mixed Reality Toolkit, which developed from Microsoft, and it is one of the best tools for HoloLens. But in our tutorial, we will set up MLTK for mobile device, especially for Android. Before we start, uh, I want to tell you that MLTK version is really sensitive, especially when it comes with your mobile devices. So please check the version carefully. In here, I'm using the uh, Unity version 2021 and MLTK is going to be 2.8.2. So before we download MLTK, we need to set up a usual AL for the Unity. So we're going to use, need, need to download, we, so we need to download AL Foundation as well as AL Core from Package Manager. So open the Package Manager and go to the Unity Industry in Registry. Let's install AL Foundation as well as AL Core. And after installing, it's better to switch the platform as well as change the player settings. And open the player settings. We're gonna set up same as AL Foundation. So we need to enable disable Auto Graphic API and I'm going to delete Vulkan and disable multi-threaded rendering and select minimum API level, API level 26 and then scripting backend need to be changed into IL to CPP and architecture ALM64 and then in the end Select XR Plugin Management and enable AR Core. Now we are ready to set up install MRTK. Now we are ready to install MRTK. So to download MRTK tool, first you can open the Google and just type MRTK tool. You will see the second link welcome to the mixed reality feature tool and click that you will see this page and if you scroll down a bit you will see download link over here and then please download this file and after download if you just run it after a couple of seconds your start button turn into blue and click it and select project path which is your unity project and select discover features and in here we're going to select MRTK mixed toolkit mixed reality toolkit examples as well as foundations we just need these two but again if you are using the uh, unity 2020 as far as you remember you need to download 2000 um, 2.5.2 all right well, here we are using the 2021, so we are just, it's okay with the 2.8.2. After a couple of minutes, you will see this panel and you need to just select next and apply and next. And you need to import TextMesh Pro Essentials. And then it's okay to click got it next and done now installing is done so before we start you need to go to here mixed reality and toolkit utilities you will see unity al over here and then click update scripting defines now all installing is done so uh, let's open the example and let's check if it works correctly so to open the samples go to the package manager if you select in project over here you will see mixed reality toolkit examples and click it and open the samples let's download hand tracking import after that you will see sample folder inside of your project and then go inside of the 2.8.2 you will see demos and select the scenes let's open hand interaction examples double click and let's save as this scene 
When you see it closely, you will see these large icons. If you don't like to see them, you can just turn off by clicking this. Now let's set up for mobile AR. So select Mixed Realty Toolkit. In the inspector, we need to clone this profile. So click clone and set your name and clone. And then we need to set up new AR camera. So click the camera and click clone again and save with the new names and click clone. And then open the camera setting providers. We need to add camera setting provider and click this and change the type to Unity AR and Unity AR camera settings. Well, if you just play it right now inside of the Unity, you can look around over here and then it works quite okay inside of the Unity itself. And then you can see small cursors over there. So you can click it and move around, something like that. And now I'm looking around using my right click button. But anyway, you see these diagnostic panels, right? And then it is always following you. And I feel like it is a bit annoying. So I just want to turn it off. To turn off diagnostics, you will see here, diagnostics over here, and then just disable it. Setup is done. So save. Let's open the build settings and make sure if you change your name and select your device, let's click build and run. I created build folder over here and save your APK inside over here. After build is done, and when you open your mobile or when you open your device, you will see this screen and allow your camera. Now you can see that all of our features are inside of our scene and we also can see our background as a reality. And of course, you can click and move around all the stuff like this.